Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today in this video we'll be taking a look at a brand new 3ds emulator for android devices known as lime 3ds which is actually the continuation of official citra android under a different name like we saw with the suyu emulator just like how it was a fork of yuzu emulator lime 3ds is a fork of the official citra android with that being said let's talk about the minimum requirements needed to run lime 3ds on android 4 to 6gb of ram is actually recommended but you can easily use it even if you have 3gb of ram snapdragon 450 processor or above android version 8 or above these are going to be the minimum requirements for lime 3ds as you guys can read lime 3ds is a project which aims to revive citra the most popular open source 3ds emulator the developer's goal is to update the emulator quite frequently and also provide improvements anyways yesterday a brand new version of lime 3ds was released which is the lime release version 0.0.2 alpha where a few games have been fixed and the developer of lemonade 3ds emulator is also contributing or helping with the development of lime 3ds emulator now if you want to read the full changelog you can tap here currently as the lime 3ds simulator is in its alpha stages we can't expect much changes until the simulator is much better than that of official citra android currently it has a bit better compatibility than official citra android and some improvements in fixing games so be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest lime 3ds simulator updates it is available for both windows linux and android devices so let's start the setup procedure of the simulator immediately once you open it on your android devices you will notice that it has the same setup UI like the official Citra Android. As I mentioned before, the main developer's goal is to revive the old Citra emulator project and make it better in future. So currently it is just like the official Citra Android as I mentioned with some compatibility improvements. We'll be also testing out some games to see if it performs better in some cases or not and how much FPS can we get while emulating AAA 3DS titles like Pokemon Sun on our Android devices. First of all, let's just go ahead and tap on options and check out the best settings. It also supports GPU driver configuration but I'll be talking more about it later on in this video. Let's disable limit speed percentage uh, and limit speed percent was basically set to 100. Anyways in terms of system we don't really have any uh, setting to change. Afterwards head on over to graphics. Now here we get two APIs OpenGL ES as well as Vulkan. Basically if you have an low end Android device which is below Android version 10 then you should use the graphics API as OpenGL ES. But if you have Android version 10 or above then definitely go with Vulkan. Make sure to enable asynchronous shader compilation. Internal resolution you can go all the way up to 10x in Lime 3 d simulator. As usual we'll set the internal resolution to 4x. Linear filtering has been enabled. Disk shader cache has been enabled and accurate multiplication is disabled once that has been done let's go to the debug option where new 3ds mode has been enabled also you can use applets cpu jit hardware shader as well as vsync have been enabled and in terms of audio settings we'll disable audio stretching and those were the best settings for lime 3ds simulator i'll also be using an custom gpu driver which is the turnip driver revision 18 with that being said now we are all set to using the lime 3ds simulator on android devices let's start testing it right away with pokemon sun which is one of my favorite 3ds games to emulate on android devices so there we go uh, i can hear the audio output so let me just go ahead and head back make sure to enable uh, show fps option from overlay options we also have save states pause emulation landscape screen layout swap screens lock driver cheats and settings now one thing which i'm noticing is the fact that even though we disabled uh, the limit speed percentage we are still getting 30 fps all right guys there is an easy fix if you want to get more than 30 fps while emulating 3ds games on uh, the lime 3ds simulator make sure to set the cpu clock speed to 400 percent and disable the enable vsync option with this option being disabled and also make sure that that speed limit percentage was disabled we will be all set to getting more than 60 fps before i forgot to disable vsync that's why we were getting around 60 to 30 fps but now immediately after the game started we are getting more than 150 fps constantly at the top left corner as you might be able to see and even 200 fps in some cases well i have a save state so we'll just go ahead and open save state and make sure to enable load save state and tap on our save state Let's see if, if this uh, save state feature is functional. Yeah, it is functional. There we go. I have skipped the entire cutscene and now moment of truth. How much FPS do we get while emulating an 3DS game on the Lime 3DS emulator? So now we can control our character and the FPS results are pretty stable. We are obviously getting 150 plus FPS even though we are using even though the internal resolution is set to 4x. So let's see how well does this game actually perform in the outside world scenarios. As far as my experience uh, comparing the performance in the outside world scenarios in Lemonade 3D Simulator I was getting anywhere from 80 to 100 FPS. In Citra MMJ Android I was getting 80 to 100 FPS and 
Same is the case with the Lime 3 d simulator. I think it's a bit better. I remember getting around 90 to 100 FPS table, but this time we are getting, we were getting around 100 FPS table, but the FPS again dropped down and it is dropping a bit more. But there we go, it's back to 70. So uh, the FPS isn't really stable while emulating Pokemon Sun on the Lime 3 d simulator. So I can say this that the performance may be a bit better in some cases or a bit worse than Lemonade 3 d simulator or Citra MMJ Android. You can check out my Lemonade 3 d versus Citra MMJ comparison video which I uploaded a week ago. In that video, we figured out which is the best performance oriented 3 d simulator and I believe that Lime 3 d simulator is also a good competitor for comparison. Anyways, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this simulator and I'll keep you guys up to date with, with all the latest emulation news. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.